Wall Street's main indexes ended mixed on Tuesday after fresh employment data boosted bets that the Federal Reserve will cut interest rates as soon as March. The Dow shed two-tenths of a percent, the S&P 500 dipped fractionally, and the Nasdaq added three-tenths. The Labor Department's JOLTS report showed job openings dropped in October to the lowest level since early 2021. Meanwhile, shares of interest rate-sensitive megacaps helped boost the Nasdaq, with NVIDIA and Apple each gaining more than 2 percent as Treasury yields dipped to multi-month lows, something Michael Mullaney, director of global markets research at Boston Partners, calls relatively remarkable given that the 10-year Treasury yield spiked to more than 5 percent just over a month ago. The other thing that's kind of you know, head-scratching for me and I think for the firm is the way Fed fund futures are operating right now in that they are anticipating up to six different cuts in 2024 for the Federal Reserve. Um, uh, and I just don't see that happening. And, you know, the Fed right now, as far as their own dot plot, is only at two. It'll be interesting to see this on the 13th of December when the Fed has their FOMC meeting, if they throw some cold water on these expectations in the, in the Fed futures market. On Friday, the non-farm payrolls report for November may offer greater clarity on the Fed's monetary policy path. In other company news, shares of Take-Two Interactive Software dipped half a percent after a trailer of the latest installment of its best-selling Grand Theft Auto video game franchise was released. And shares of CVS Health jumped more than 3.5 percent after forecasting 2024 revenue above Wall Street estimates as the company expects to benefit from its expansion into health services.